I'd like to start with a couple of quick examples. These are spinneret glands on the abdomen of a spider. They produce six different types of silk, which are spun together into a fiber tougher than any fiber humans have ever made. The nearest we've come is with aramid fiber. And uh, to make that, it involves extremes of temperature, extremes of pressure, and loads of pollution. And yet the spider manages to do it at ambient temperature and pressure with raw materials of dead flies and water. It does suggest we've still got a bit to learn. This beetle can detect a forest fire at 80 kilometers away. That's roughly 10,000 times the range of man-made fire detectors. And what's more, this guy doesn't need a wire connecting it all the way back to a power station burning fossil fuels. So these two examples give a sense of what biomimicry could deliver. If we could learn to make things and do things the way nature does, we could achieve factor 10, factor 100, maybe even factor 1,000 savings in resource and energy use. And if we're to make progress with the sustainability revolution, I believe there are three really big changes we need to bring about. Firstly, radical increases in resource efficiency. Secondly, shifting from a linear, wasteful, polluting way of using resources to a closed-loop model. And thirdly, changing from a fossil fuel economy to a solar economy. And for all three of these, I believe biomimicry has a lot of the solutions that we're going to need. You could look at nature as being like a catalog of products, and all of those have benefited from a 3.8 billion year research and development period. And uh, given that level of investment, it kind of makes sense to use it. So now I want to go on to talking about the linear to closed loop idea. The way we tend to use resources is uh, we extract them, we turn them into short life products, and then dispose of them. Nature works very differently. In ecosystems, the waste from one organism becomes the nutrient for something else in that system. And there are some examples of projects that have deliberately uh, tried to mimic ecosystems. And one of my, favorite is, one of my favorites is uh, called the Cardboard to Caviar Project uh, by Graham Wiles. And uh, in their area, they had quite a lot of shops and restaurants that were producing lots of food, cardboard, and plastic waste that was ending up in landfill. Now, the really clever bit is what they did with the cardboard waste. And I'm just going to talk through this uh, with this animation. So they were paid to collect it from the restaurants. They then shredded the cardboard and sold it to equestrian centers as horse bedding. When that was soiled, they were paid again to collect it. They put it into wormery composting systems, which produced a lot of worms, which they fed to Siberian sturgeon, which produced caviar, which they sold back to the restaurants. So it transformed a linear process into a closed loop model, and it created more value in the process. Graham Wiles has continued to add more and more elements to this, uh, turning waste streams into schemes that create value. And, and just as natural systems tend to increase in diversity and resilience over time, there's a real sense with this project that um, the number of possibilities just continue increasing. And I firmly believe that studying the way nature solves problems will provide a lot of the solutions. But perhaps more than anything, what this thinking provides is a really positive way of talking about sustainable design. Far too much of the talk about the environment uses very negative language. But here, it's about synergies and abundance and optimizing. And this is an important point. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry once said, if you want to build a flotilla of ships, you don't sit around talking about carpentry. No, you need to set people's souls ablaze with visions of exploring distant shores. And that's what we need to do. So let's be positive, and let's make progress with what could be the most exciting period of innovation we've ever seen. Thank you.